Astro AI keeps bringing innovation to the multimeter market, and I'll show you exactly why here. They all come with these great bags. So again, your sensitive uh, electronic equipment is not gonna get beat up. This one did come with batteries. It's got a thank you card. Very easy to follow and read manual. The one thing I like about it, it's not super big. You know, uh, some of the other clamp meters are just either super long, super wide. This one is pretty small. Um, it's not gonna go too crazy. It's got a really easy to use thumb wheel. So you turn that to turn it on. Super easy to read screen and it's backlit. So you're working at night. That's usually when I have to work on cars or something. And you wanna see, you know, is that alternator charging? You know, is something working? So a clamp meter can work for HVAC. If you're having to do that, it'll work for everything. The interesting thing about this one is it actually has DC amperage. That's why I needed to get one that could measure DC current. So this one has DC current measuring capability. Doesn't have an oscilloscope, but it does come with probes. It's gonna have all the standard features of a multimeter. I'm gonna show you those real quick. So black goes into our common. Red, we're gonna go ahead and plug that in here. It's gonna have those probes that are covered. I can take this clamp meter and I can do a ton of different things with it. One of the things I can do is I can reach around behind the shielding that we have over here and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on voltage and I'm gonna check the voltage of this. And you can see that multimeter saying it's 13.36. I'm 13.41 on the meter up above there. Couple interesting things about this. So if I take it and I switch it down here, it's got a section called NCV and live. So if I do NCV, non-contact voltage detection, you just bring it up to wires. Now it's, it's really freaking out in the studio because there's so much electronics, but as I get it over to a wire that's warm or that has current on it, it's gonna let me know that. Same thing with the coil in this, it's gonna see that. And what it's doing is on the back side of this is it's measuring for that stray current. So it has that. Now this one uh, uses, I believe it's a Hall effect uh, because it doesn't have a continuous metal that goes around. So there's uh, you know some, some computation going on in there. So it's gonna have other capabilities. Like if you hit this H here, you've got different ranges. So if you switch on to something else, you can do a hold. So if you're looking, you can hit H and then you can hold the last reading if that's what you want to do. So a couple different uh, values. When I go to live, then I take the red input. If I go up to something, and again, this thing's really freaking out in the studio, but if I take that red lead here, I can actually touch it to something and it'll let me know that's hot. So this is uh, letting you know if you have live wires just with using the probe. That's another really interesting thing. So you can bring it up to this and you can use the probe as kind of a, a sensor to get into spaces that you normally can't. So, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this clamp meter and if I go to uh, the 40 amps and I go around this, I should see showing me negative 5.25. Uh, so now that's interesting because that's flowing in, right? Now, my understanding is if I go to the other side or I flip it around, let me check real quick, sorry guys. Yeah, now it's showing about 4.5 in current going that way. So this thing will measure DC amperage. And so when we're working with high amperage DC circuits, I wanna be able to measure that even if I don't have current monitoring.